Hello Geminis, welcome to December 2016's Energy Overview. So Geminis, it's been a bit. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Let's take a look here at your Angel Messenger energy for the month of December. And we have Merlin. Merlin says that you are confused and have some indecision. And that you need to do more research and maybe even seek expert advice before making decisions. Now with this, it kind of you know fits in with the month because we have Mercury going into retrograde and Uranus you know, going direct. So there's going to be changes and influences. We also have you, you know, stepping up and making some more choices here, you know, as we go into the new year, what direction you're headed. So you might want to think on that before you start making those choices, okay? Your Ascended Master energy for this month is Moses. And Moses says, take charge of the situation. Now, Geminis, a lot of times you guys enjoy taking charge of the situation and you really want to take and focus on it. But with Moses pulling up and you working under this Ascended Master energy this month, it's going to be really focusing on where you're headed, what you want, and how you want things to be. You know, there's sometimes we have to make those choices. We have to be the leader of the pack. And sometimes, you know, we can kind of relax. This month is going to be one of those where you have to be the leader of the pack. You have to go, enough of this. Let's do A, B, and C and get it done. And you'll be really good at that. Just make sure that you're, you know, listening to Merlin and looking really deeper into the situation before you make those cutthroat decisions. All right, let's choose your um, terror energy of the month. And, you know, we're looking at three sectors, your love, your money, and your career. Now, looking at your love, we have the Ace of Cups, which brings you new opportunities of love. Um, with the Ace of Cups showing up here, it's actually really good for you. But it also says to pay attention to what you know, because you may be getting influences outside. So you want to be kind of careful with that and comfortable. And really, you know, use that Page of Cups to bring out those emotions. Okay. In your money sector, we have the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands talks about making decisions, seeing where you want things to be and exactly how you want them to be. Um, the Three of Wands appearing up in your money sector says to plan. You may want to set out a budget. Where are you headed financially? You know, how are you wanting things to be this year? In your career sector, we have the Three of Swords. Now, with the Three of Swords, you'll want to be a little careful. This shows an ending. Um, with it coming upright, it's very much a hard-breaking ending. This may be a job ending. It may be, you know, relationships and bonds at work falling apart. Are you deciding that this isn't the right career for you? So you want to stay focused on where you're headed and what you're wanting to do with this Gemini. All right, let's look at your belief affirmation for the month. And it says, act as if you cannot fail, you know, which means that when you make things, when you make choices this month, don't look at the possibility of failure. Look at the possibility of being direct and being able to pick up and move things. All right, then. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out your Ascended and your Moon signs. If you not, do not know this, feel free to contact me over at Psychic.biz, and I'd be happy to provide you a full natal chart for $25. All right, then. Have a great month, and I'm here if you need me, Gemini. All you got to do is reach out. I'm just a phone call away.